Let's talk about personal appearance from the chin up. If you've done a headshot with me, you've also seen in my info details that I talk about makeup. For video conferencing, just like for headshots, really less is more. Unless you're doing a fashion beauty shot, uh, you don't need to have a lot of makeup on. I have a little bit of makeup on today, a little bit of mascara on, uh, a little bit of a lip color. Um, but I don't have a lot of glossy makeup on and you really don't want that because the light will catch that and make that unattractive. Um, guys, it's about the baseball caps. No, uh, I know you're working from home and everyone's feeling relaxed and that's great. But um, we need to see your eyes and we need to see your forehead and your baseball cap doesn't work. Let's talk about what you're going to wear. What I find is that wearing a color that matches or is close to your background works. So for instance, today I'm wearing a neutral color with a neutral background. Um, if you have a red wall behind you and you want to wear a red shirt, that's great. Again, uh, what we want is we don't want too much information to be zooming at the viewer. Uh, so if you wear a red top with a neutral background or purple with green, that's a lot of information for someone to take in and we're working remotely. So we have to be very careful what information we put out there uh, virtually. I always find that wearing a lighter neutral color works better because the light will bounce up into your face just like a reflector does. If you've ever worked with me doing a headshot, you've seen me use those.